Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome to each of the witnesses. Um, I'd like to start by asking each of the company representatives a, a simple question, which is, do you consider your companies to be neutral public fora? Because although Twitter presents itself as politically neutral, its culture behind closed doors is one of blatant censorship, systematic bias, and political targeting. While many suspected this was the case, today we present the proof out of their own Twitter mouths. The idea of the shadow ban is that you ban someone but they don't know they've been banned because they keep posting but no one sees their content. So they just think that no one's engaging with their content when in reality no one's seeing it. Well, let me, let me focus for a minute, Mr. Manche. As, as you know, there have been uh, several videos that were released in recent weeks that, that I and a lot of other people find highly troubling. And so I want to give you an opportunity to respond to them. Uh, one individual, uh, Abneoff Vad Vadrevu, uh, described as a former Twitter software engineer, uh, was captured on video saying the following, quote, one strategy is to shadow ban, so you have ultimate control. The idea of a shadow ban is that you ban someone, but they don't know they've been banned because they keep posting and no one sees their content. So they just think that no one is engaging with their content, when in reality, no one is seeing it. Uh, is that a practice uh, that, that occurs at Twitter? No, sir, we do not shadow ban um, uh, users. Now, uh, wh why would this, this individual described as a former Twitter software engineer say that? Thank you for the opportunity to respond, Senator, about this. Uh, these folks were caught on video. They weren't speaking on behalf of the company. They were speaking in their personal uh, capacity. Uh, we do not shadow ban uh, folks. What we do do uh, is if uh, an account is spammy, uh, meaning uh, engaging in malicious automation, we will hide, uh, make it harder for them to find, to be found on our platform. Let's say for the pro-Trump thing, and I am anti-Trump, I was like, oh, I, just, I banned this whole account, I go to you. And then it's at your discretion. And if you're, if you're anti-Trump, you're like, oh, you know what, Mo's right, let it go. Another individual uh, named Mo Narai, uh, Twitter content review agent, was quoted on video as saying, on stuff like that, it was more discretion on your viewpoint. I guess how you felt about a particular matter. Yeah, if they said this is, quote, pro-Trump, I don't want it because it offends me, this, that. And I say I banned the whole thing. And it goes over here, and they are like, oh, you know what? I don't like it, too. You know what? Mo's right. Let's go. Let's carry on. What's next? Uh, is that individual describing a practice that occurs at Twitter? No, sir. Uh, we, uh, we use uh, algorithms as a way to, if we see an account that is being abusive, uh, that also will be downranked uh, if they are engaging in targeted abuse against uh, minorities, if they're being, uh, if, if, if they're consistently violating our terms of service, but they haven't crossed the line into being suspended, uh, we'll make it less visible. But what we won't do is make uh, your followers, we'll always be able to see you, uh, and uh, we are not, uh, we, we ensure that if you go on, on Twitter at any moment, you can see, you can sure see arguments on all sides of the I issue. want to make sure I'm understanding you right. You're saying for some people who are posting, you will restrict viewership only to those who are actively following them? If, if, if we believe that they're uh, engaged in malicious automation, if we believe uh, that they're violating our terms of service when it comes to abuse. So is it your position that the individuals that are subject to this form of censorship are extremist or fringe? Is, is, is that, 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 that what you're telling us? Uh, it depends on, on, uh, on, on the user. I, I can tell you that, that this is not something that we hide from the public. This is out in the open, the, the fact that we will reduce the visibility of tweets that are abusive or that uh, are engaged in malicious automation. I've heard talk that it's a good thing because they'll use it to ban, like, Trump supporters mm -hmm. or conservatives. So I didn't know if like that's just a rumor or if that's true. That's a thing. That's a thing? That's a thing. Yeah. Do the random tweet and um, like just look at the followers. Yeah. They'll all be like guns, God, America. Like yeah. with the American flag and like the cross. Yeah, no one really yeah. Yeah. No. Like who says that? Who talks like that? It's, it's, for sure, a bot. Or a bot or just a Or a redneck. Redneck's gonna kill them. Yeah. So can you get rid of them? Uh, I wouldn't know. Can you get rid of them? Um, yeah. 
So is it going to like ban, essentially ban certain mindsets and or people who could be negative? No. It's, gonna, okay. it's not going to ban a mindset. It's going to ban like a way of talking. The pattern of political censorship that we are seeing across the technology companies is highly concerning. And the opening question I asked you of whether you're a neutral public forum, if you are a neutral public forum, that does not allow for political editorializing and censorship. And if you're not a neutral public forum, the entire predicate for liability immunity under the CDA is claiming to be a neutral public forum. So, so you can't have it both ways. Thank you.